Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. So in this video, we'll discuss the last problem of lead code by weekly contest 91. It's a hard level problem, uh, relatively better than the other ones. But yeah, purely based on implementation, we'll discuss that. So the problem name is split message based on limit. So the problem statement says that you are given a string message and a positive integer limit. You can split message into one or more parts based on limit. Now each resulting part should have the suffix uh, this one starting brace a this and this okay we'll see what a and b is now where b is to be replaced with the total number of parts and a is to be replaced with the index of that part okay starting from one and going up to b additionally the length of each resulting part including its suffix should be equal to limit except for the last part whose length can at most be limit okay the resulting part should be formed such that when their suffixes are removed and they all and they are all concatenated in order they should be equal to message also the result should contain as few parts as possible right return the part parts message uh, would be split into as an array of strings if it is impossible to split message as required return an empty array okay ah uh, i know pretty, pretty long problem statement we'll, we'll discuss that okay and these are certain examples so let me directly jump to the uh, detailed explanation okay so the problem says that suppose I have a message or I can say I have a string. So in the example, the string is support short message. Okay, this is my string and there is a value limit as well. In this case, limit is 15. Okay, now what the problem is saying, you have to divide this whole message into some parts. Okay, and what will be the format of, of that part? The format of that part will some part some uh, the format of of those parts will be some part of this string, okay, and a suffix a divided by b a a slash b. Now what is a and b? So suppose when when you divide your string into certain parts, so suppose the total number of parts are uh, hundred, okay. So how many so for hundred parts what are, what will be the parts represented as? It will be one slash hundred. 2 slash 100, 3 slash 100, till 100 slash 100, right? These are the parts. So it says that what you do, you pick up one part of the message. Suppose these are the, these are the characters. So you pick this some, some part such that, suppose that is A, B, C, D, E, okay? And my limit is uh, suppose uh, 7, okay? So the total length of each part should be equals to this limit, except the last part. Now, just see here from some from uh, since each part has to be of length seven what are the fixed characters that i have in each of my part right it says that this has to be represented by this right so this is one character this is one character and this is one character so three characters has to be there in my parts okay now obviously the total number of parts will be non-zero okay so that means slash this is one, this is one, this is one. If even if it is a one digit number, then this also will be a one digit number. Like if, if my total number of parts is uh, less than 10, so this will be a one digit number. And obviously this will be also a one digit number, right? So the limit, the limit that is given to me should be greater than five. Otherwise I'll not be able to form my parts. Why? Because this is one character this is a one digit number slash one digit number slash what 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 is the length one two three four five so this is just the information of that part i also need to put some characters right before this so that means since this is consuming five positions i need at least um, six six uh, limit of six so that i can break this string into certain parts right this is one thing so how that will be broken it will be broken something like so my example was short message short space message also when you concatenate all, all the parts afterwards so you get the same string this is what the problem is saying limit is 15 so what do you do you uh, suppose you break your string in two parts okay so what will be the first part the first one will, will be some prefix of the string slash one slash two slash three so these are five characters i am left with 10 positions so pick up 10 characters one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay 
these are the characters so i pick short space message this is my first part okay what is my second part till here i have sorry till here i have consumed just a second Till here I have consumed what is the remaining part A G E. So you write A G E slash second part. This is what the problem is saying. Given a string, you need to break it such that each part is represented by this. Now the whole uh, the whole logic here is how do we find the total number of parts? Because based on this only, my answer will vary. Because suppose the total number of parts is less than 10. So that means my parts will be numbered as 1 slash 10, 2 slash 10 till 9 slash 10 if there are 9 parts. However, if my total parts is 100, so it will be 1 slash 100 till if, if it is less than 100, right? So it is 99 by 100 or 80 by 100, whatever this is the total number of parts. So what I mean to say in this, we have to find that how many digits are consumed by the total number of parts. That is the main uh, thing that we need to find in, in this problem and then we are good to go because we know that okay each string will consume how much space each suffix and then we can pick up the remaining characters right this is what we need to do so what 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 i have done as explained as explained what i have done i have assume, assumed that that okay let's start uh, let's assume that the number of total parts is a single digit let's assume that to be nine let's assume that to be nine okay now assuming nine see that whether you are able to form valid parts or not okay what do we mean by valid parts so the meaning of valid parts is what you do simple uh, supp suppose you, you write a utility function in that you pass that okay the total number of parts is nine and obviously the num the number number of characters here is just one because if your part is a slash b if this is nine it is just consuming one position right so what your utility function is, will do based on these information that what is the message, what is the limit, what is the total number of digits, uh, the parts that you have and the uh, number of digits in total parts. Based on that, it will try to construct the parts. Now, if at any point of time you get an invalid result, what is that invalid result? Suppose you are traversing your string and at every point you see how much characters do i need to pick in the current part your current part starts from one two three and so on so what will be the length what will be the number of characters you pick in the current part so it will be three is fixed right these three characters are fixed so three plus what is the already consumed part three plus the total number of digits that i have in to uh, total part so that is one here plus what is the current part suppose the current part is five so how many digits is, is it consuming? It is one. So that is five. So suppose my limit is uh, nine and out of nine, five characters are already consumed by the current suffix. So that means I need to pick four characters from my string, right? Then I increment my current part that now my current part will be, suppose it was first part. Now I move to the second part, third part and so on up till nine. Okay. This is what you do. Now this function will return you the parts. Okay. And then what happens? <coughs> you, you see that how many parts you have if the number of parts that you have okay if the number of parts you have is same what you assumed so suppose your parts was suppose you got five parts and you assume that okay the number of parts total number of parts will be a single digit number so that means okay this is a valid number now how do you find how many parts you had it, it will be the size of the the size that was here the total number of parts that you got now again call that utility function passing the correct information and then it will construct their parts okay let me just show you the code and then it will become more clear okay uh forget about this this thing let's start from here okay this is the first line what i said if your limit is less than equal to five you cannot construct your string you cannot construct your parts so you return empty okay now you pick you pick up a list initially your total number of parts is minus one total number of digits is one and then you start here okay so in this what i have done i have started that initially the total parts that i have is 9 then 99 then 999 and so on right and the, the number of digits that is consumed by total parts is one here two here three here and so on right so just see here this is the thing that i have done 
I call my utility function get parts. I pass message limit what is the total parts I have and the number of uh, characters consumed by the total parts. Okay, let's come here. This is the utility function. Now just see, this will contain the parts. This is the length of the message. Current part is one. While i is less than uh, length. Length is the number of uh, characters in your message, right? Now what is the current length? Current length is three plus. What is three? This. These three characters will be consumed plus total part digit. That means how many total pa how many uh, characters are consumed by the total parts that I have passed. So that will be one in this case plus get number of digits of the current part. Current part is one, right? So this is a utility function that I have written, which will return the number of digits in my current number. So you pass in, it will return the number of digits that you have, right? Simple stuff. What is the remaining characters that you have, which you will uh, take from the message and put in the current part? It will be limit minus whatever has been already consumed current length. So this is the thing. Now, if it is less than or equal to zero, right? So you return an empty array. You say that, okay, no, I cannot form a valid part from this. Okay. Else what you do remaining equals to math dot min of remaining length minus i. Now, these are just simple string manipulations. What it says that suppose um, you can consume five characters, but you already you are only left with two characters in your string, right? Your string will be consumed completely. So you pick remain uh, minimum of remaining that is five comma if length was 10 minus if you are at index eight so you are just length uh, left with two lengths so you pick two okay now x equals to message dot substring i comma i plus remaining and then you construct the part what will be the current part it will be whatever message you have consumed suppose two characters a b okay then just see slash then what is the current part suppose that is one slash total parts nine right parts dot add i plus equals to remaining because you have consumed remaining characters remaining number of characters from the message so you jump so that you can consume the uh, you can consume further characters in the next iteration current part plus plus you do you keep on doing this and finally you return the parts okay so this i do now when i come here i see if get number of digit that means the number of digits in the number of parts that i've got equals to digit which i assume that means the total part will be this Meaning, suppose I assume that the total number of parts is 99, a two-digit number, and the total number of parts that I got was 75. So I know that this also has two digits, this also has two digits. Now the total parts will be 75. Based on 75, construct your answer. So what you will do, you will break. Else, obviously, you will increment your digit, and 9 will change to 99, then 999, and so on, right? And digit is the number of characters in these numbers, okay? If total part is equals to minus one return empty string else what you do again call that function now you know how many parts you have so that will be total part just see total part is this get number of digits in total part right and finally i have oh, i get my answer and i put that into a string array and then i'm good to go i return string of answer right so yeah this is the logic of this problem um, I hope you learned something new from this video. Uh, do support it by giving up a thumbs up. Do subscribe to the channel. In case you have any queries, do let me know. I'll revert on each one of them. Okay, thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.